I'm sensing something. It's coming quickly. There's an item on the way for Mystery Tech. I can feel it. It's gonna come out of the table. I've caught it. Levitating Bluetooth speaker. You got me a UFO speaker? Yes. I am done. Ooh. So we've got the actual speaker itself, which looks very um, it actually unidentifiable. Does, it does actually look like a UFO. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh. oh, that's kind of okay. cool. Okay. So. I don't think I That's that not right. how you do. Okay. All right. Maybe I should read the instructions. So I need to hold it slightly above, move it vertically, and then release it. Okay. So I'm going to carefully position this. Okay. Oh, it's leveling. It's almost like zero gravity. Oh, no, no, no. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Stay, stay. 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 I guarantee you I will get it first try. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I lied. All right, watch. Matt's actually gonna do it first try. I believe in Matt. How many overclock employees does it take to put? <laughs> we don't have enough. Okay. I mean, we're oh. already overheated. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, okay. Uh, plan B. Plan B. Plan B. Plan B. Okay. It's floating. Yeah! <laughs> we did it. Edit team, you can uh, you can composite this right in After Effects. <laughs> That was not Did a Did you fun make that noise? No, that was not a fun sound. It's overheating. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait. Oh, that was it. Here, 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 here. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah. Oh! Let's go! <laughs> oh, it's vibrating. Is this video sponsored by the aliens? I love how that's what you went to. <laughs> the only thing that goes through Austin's <laughs> mind is, what's the sponsor for this video? And after meeting Austin, they immediately said there's no intelligent life on this planet. <laughs> dibs. <laughs> you can't have a box yet. You can't call dibs. I have the Fit Kip K2 multifunctional touch keyboard. What? The Fit Kip is this. So, oh, that's a oh, chunk. Okay. This feels nice. You know what this reminds me of? There are the, the Asus laptops oh, that have like, you know, like the right. screen, like with the ergo lift and whatnot. Yeah, but this has a real keyboard on it. It does, yeah. I mean, obviously that's a full mechanical keyboard, although uh, that feels like a $30 mechanical keyboard. Theoretically, if I plug the single USB-C cable into a device that has full USB-C with power delivery and display port and everything, it will power my display and my keyboard all over one cable. Oh, oh. immediately the kip shows up. I just kind of wish that the screen would tilt up more. It doesn't, yeah, yeah, and it's also not a touch screen. Oh, it is a touch screen. It is a oh. touch screen, yeah, it's a touch, yeah, that I remember seeing. Yep, those are blues. For $400, I would expect a nicer keyboard. The keyboard itself, very much feels like a $50 generic kind of like blue special that you could get on Amazon. One last thing that I want to check. Yeah. Make so. sure they're actually blues. Well, no, not so if much. They're hot that. swappable. If they're hot swappable. Oh, interesting. Hot you can hot swap. Oh, still expensive. The fact that it's hot swappable though, actually kind of interesting. I'm not gonna pitch another dinky video, but Ken, you should make a dinky video on this. I will. I'm gonna make, make the a video version of this. The weirdest keyboards I could find. All right, don't subscribe to Danky, subscribe to This Is. Is Seacamp focused? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can people see me in 4K? I wish they couldn't. Okay. I just double check. What the? Hover Pen, Hover Pen 2.0 Interstellar Edition, Meteorite Embedded Version, 18 karat gold plated ballpoint pen, Starlight Silver. Those were some expensive words. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ken knows me. Ken knows that this is the kind of sh that appeals to me. So I'm assuming this little thing in the end is a chunk of meteorite. What does it smell like? It doesn't smell like space. How do you know what space smells like? And then I've got a little stand for it. So do I, okay, this, this, is, a, this is a complicated three-dimensional shape. All right, so. Oh my gosh, Austin. Okay. <laughs> no, no, you people have too much money. There you go. Oh, yo, okay, that's cool. Man. That's pretty cool. If I were a hovering meteorite pen, how much would I cost? $169.95. You know, you know what the funny thing is, is that um, it's actually cheaper than that. Okay. It's $100. 
for the base model. Is this the point where you tell me that this is not the base model? Yes. The Meteorite version costs $400. You know I'm all for mystery tech. This is not the way I usually start an episode of mystery tech, but you know what? I'm out here for it. It's only 11 o'clock. Uh, it's AM. five o'clock somewhere, Jared. Whoa. Jared, you almost hit the Heineken. My friends, this is a momentous occasion on Mystery Tech because we have a very special sponsor. Heineken have created a brand new product. They've given me early exclusive access to. This, my friends, is the closer. Now it might look to an ordinary civilian like a bottle opener. But oh no, it is so much more. I'm gonna start working on my monthly report. Oh, look at all this nonsense. Ken, you spent so much money on Mystery Tech. You see these numbers? They're going up, not down, that's bad. It's five o'clock. It's time to unwind and experience what the closer has to offer. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> my computer's asleep. So. The way the closer works is actually really interesting. So there's no actual physical thing that's happening here. Instead, when you actually have it connect with the bottle cap, it completes the circuit, which therefore sends the signal. Yeah, see, it's asking if you want to shut your computer off. Obviously, I don't want to do that because I'm not going to touch it again. Well, cheers to not working past five o'clock because that's unhealthy and you should work on your work-life balance and enjoy the beer every once in a while. Yo, did you see that? Did you see that? Did everyone see that? Can we get a slow motion replay of that one? This is the Shadowcast console laptop link. Is this like reverse HDMI? A capture card to get your game console to show up on your laptop display? Yes. Wow, that is very small. So it's literally HDMI on one side, USB-C on the other. Who needs xCloud when you have X-Wired? <laughs> You got me on that one. I'll say when you have it in favor performance, the quality looks like 480p. Favoring resolution looks a lot nicer. <laughs> got it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, wow, that immediately feels bad. I mean, there's definitely several frames of latency. Obviously, we're watching this at 24 frames on the preview, but. No, nah, I'm, I'm getting Are like you... 20 FPS right now. Ooh. Yeah, I'm switched to favor performance. All right. Let's see how that, that goes. Uh, still latency. Are you using OBS, really? Mm-hmm. you think so, OBS can be better? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the Genki as a video capture source. Just try that out. Latency seems a little bit better. Performance seems to be about the same where I do feel like I'm dropping frames. This is actually not even as performant as a lot of cloud gaming. All of those feel better than this. It's a cool idea, but I think the premise is a little bit flawed. For some games, if you don't care about that sort of really quick response time, this is probably fine, but the fundamental limits of the technology mean that even in the best case scenario, you're only gonna have so much performance. It's certainly not gonna be as good as plugging an HDMI cable into a display. So that's a... That's, that's an a, L. That's an L. Say. What do we got for Mystery Tech today? A play date. Ooh, okay. So if you're not familiar, the play date is a tiny little, I would almost say Game Boy-like console, but it doesn't play like emulated games or anything like that. It actually plays its own specific titles. Now this is made by Panic, who have traditionally been more of a game developer, but this is the first time I believe they've actually gotten into hardware. It's also my favorite band. Panic at the Disco? Yes. I chime in. Did they have it, you people ever? <laughs> Closing the, the goddamn, goddamn door. door! Oh! Well, at least we don't have to worry about coffee, right? <laughs> Ooh! Okay, all right. What lovely packaging. Have fun. I think I will. First thoughts, this hardware feels incredible. So it's plastic, right? But it's kind of like that sort of higher quality, almost like grippy kind of plastic. And you've got the little like spinny dial thing which is not the way to charge it, but is actually the way that you can actually like interact in some games. If that was the only way to charge it, I'd be. <laughs> just, hang on, I gotta play mom. I gotta charge it for one more minute. Compared to an original DMG, it is, I mean, obviously a lot smaller, but it's a much sort of wider aspect ratio. It's 69. Not like... it smells very slightly of plastic. If I really get you get in there and just. Jesus Christ, okay, well. Okay, you know, it's not a pile. 
go. Oh, that's sweet. That's so cool. I love the haptic sounds. The thing that jumps out to me most about the screen is the fact that it's not backlit. So we're in a studio environment right now, so we have a lot of lights, which makes it really easy. I think this could get annoying if you are not in a well-lit environment. So I have two games built in right now, although we'll download more every seven days. All right, crank to turn. Okay, so. Gnarly, bro. Woo! Oh, on, on, off. All right, all right, I'm starting to get the idea, though. So it's really just the crank, and I just move left and right. Yeah, buddy! Yeah, boy, let's go! Let's go, go. Let's go <laughs> Red, bro! Let's go! Let's go! The play date is super weird, right? It's one of these things that is incredibly quirky. You might play it for a few hours, never touch it again, it's totally possible. But this is fun. These games are totally unique, and while you're probably not gonna waste 10 hours and play through a campaign on something like, you know, it's, it's not that kind of game. But the fact that you're getting games constantly updated to this, it also is apparently easy for you to actually develop. So I'm assuming that people are gonna be third parties who are gonna be making Playdate stuff. While I love something like the Analog Pocket, that's just a better way to play games that I've played for decades. This is something which is all new, not only with the actual input method, but the kinds of games and the actual hardware. It's like nothing like you've ever played before. It's a shame that Austin's never gonna touch it again because there's no Pokemon on it. Now you know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna take it all the way over to This Is and make an entire video. Check it out. Subscribe to This Is. What's better than a good life? A great life. A serene life. Ken looks really excited right now. That's never a good sign. Because you know he's going to take this immediately as soon as you No, see, I have no look room at Ken's for face. this. Look at Ken's face. Look how excited he is right now about this. I have no room for the thing I'm about to steal. What is this? So I've got a nice foam mat. A mat. Yeah, that, that mat's over there. I'm like, am I building a tent? Is it a warming tent? Incubation pod? Do I grow this? This is a deluxe personal therapy detox heated home sauna. How much was this? There better not be four digits in what you're about to say. Uh, there's five digits. Including the cents? $342.53. Yes. Okay. So just go ahead and sit down. Sit, sit right in. I feel like I have a lot of clothes on for sun. I'm gonna get really sweaty. I mean, we don't want you to take your clothes off, so we're gonna go ahead and zip you in here. Okay. You feeling good? I feel like I'm in a quarantine unit. All right, turn on the oven. Oh my God, why is it red? <laughs> why is it red? I don't like the fact that it's wiggling. It's wiggling? What? Matt is over here wiggling it right now. Matt's, 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 Matt's literally right over here, dude. It is now up to 82 degrees. I don't believe that. I think it's a lot warmer than 82 degrees in here. Celsius. That's, then I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> you can just flat out see the sauna compared to everything else. Like the ambient room temperature is like 27 degrees Celsius. And what's the, how hot is this thing right now? Uh, 86 degrees Celsius, by the way, on oh, the, panels. the panels. These panels are like, uh, not something I want to touch. Like even having my hands in front of it, it feels like my hands are in front of the oven right now. Like this is proper toasty. I gotta say, this is one of the few mystery tech items that has legitimately surprised me in a really, really positive way. It looks dumb. It's such a weird idea, but for a pretty reasonable price, this is a real sauna. Like I am proper, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like proper sweating, which makes sense. I am super happy with this right now. Like this is great. So if you're super happy with it, we could keep you in there, right? No. So, you guys want to yeah, go? Go, go? Have a good one, Austin. Don't leave. Oh, camera, you can come too. Join us. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Austin. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm all alone. They've left me. 